So over here, you can see that I have a picture of a cloud right here. And let's say what I want to do is uh, make it seem as if the cloud is moving. So in that case, what I can do is I can use something called keyframes. And in keyframes, what you do is now uh, you set out a start point and an end point and set out the movement according to it. So for that, I'm going to go around over here onto the transform tool. And this is what you have, as you can see right here. Uh, so I'm just going to go around and then enable out the um, uh, the area right here, as you can see. So I'm just going to go around, enable out the camera mask right here so that I only see the editing areas. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize out this picture right here, just like this. So you can see that this is a whole picture. And let's say I want the uh, uh, image to move from left to right like this in a certain range of time. So this is the timeline cursor that I have right here. So I'm just going to go around on to the beginning over here. And then I'm going to go around and click on keyframe button over here. So this is available under tool properties. So first of all, you should make sure that you select out the um, um, uh, select out the uh, the image right here and then you need to click on tool properties and once you do that you need to click on the keyframe button as you can see right here so once you do that you can go around on to another part another portion uh until where you want to move this out and once you do that you can move this out onto the left side and you can see uh the keyframe has been added from here to here so this is the beginning position and this is the end right here so if i were to go around and play this you'll be able to see a bit of movement as you can see right here. So the keyframe has been applied and you can see the movement on the image right here. You can also move this around in between and you can see that you get kind of a bend right here on the movement. So if I were to press play, you can see that there's a kind of a bend right here. And as it reaches onto the top, you can see that it goes down again according to the movement right here. So this is what you have. As you can see, this is the movement. You can go around and then change this around right here change this around right here and you can see that it moves around. So there is a motion right here just like this. So that is how you can work around with keyframe to uh, apply out motion to objects inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.